up YouTube mechanics so today we're gonna change a battery out on a 2012 Dodge Avenger the reason I'm making this video is because as most of you know the battery is normally in the engine compartment for some reason the Dodge engineers decided on this car to put the battery up in the wheel well so you have to jack the car up pull the wheel off pull the inner fender out and uh, take the battery out so I'm gonna show you step by step on how to do this process so first put your safety glasses on you don't want to get something in your eye then jack the car up and get a jack stand under there make sure you get the jack somewhere that's nice and solid this car's a uh, unibody it doesn't have a frame so you're going to want to look for some place nice and solid So once you get it jacked up and uh, set it down on a jack stand, make sure you use a jack stand. You can pull the tire off. You need a 19 millimeter socket. Uh, I'm using the impact, you can use a ratchet. The next step is to remove the, the inner plastic shielding. So this car, as you can see, has had a lot of damage. <laughs> so uh, first thing you gotta do is remove this inner plastic piece here. Looks like you can get away with only removing the front piece. So in my case, I gotta drill out rivets. But in your case, it should, should just be maybe some 10 millimeter screws and then some quick disconnect uh, plastic plugs up in there so once you remove your inner front fender you can throw that to the side and I don't know if you can see that anyways that is your battery right up in there let me see if I can get a light on that so that's it right there I'm gonna get some light so this is where Dodge decided to put their battery on this car. Brilliant design. Let's give them a round of applause. So the first thing you're going to want to do after you get the inner fender out is take that uh, 13 millimeter bolt out right there. That's what is supporting your battery in. So now that I removed the 13 millimeter bolt, uh, your support that bar right there you have to turn at a 90 degree angle and it'll come right out of its slot up in there and that's it right there this bar right here you can turn so set that out of the way now the only thing keeping your battery in is its connectors and it looks like you'll need a 10 millimeter uh, socket on a ratchet to get those off. So you have the two connectors up in here. Right now I'm on the positive. And the negative is back in there a little bit. It takes a 10 millimeter socket. I'm just going to use a ratchet to take it off. Um, and be careful to not uh, lean anything metal across your terminals. Um, it'll arc out. So I had an idea, the, uh, the positive terminal came right off with a 10 mil ratchet, but the ground one's tucked way back in there and I can't get a very good turn on the nut. So what I did was remove this support and let it hang down there. If you just loosen that side and take this side all the way out, you can let that hang and then you can pull the battery towards us a little bit and get to the ground terminal a little bit better. But I got a little bit of cocky I'm like, oh yeah, my first YouTube video, great. Well, let's fly right through this. And I broke the bolt right off. What I did was, I was in a hurry using my impact. I usually use PB Blaster on the threads and wire brush off the threads before I try to take things apart, but I didn't. So, let that be a lesson to any of those who watch. 
Uh, make sure you clean the things up and use some PV blaster or whatever you guys like to use. So I broke that bolt off down here at the bottom. I had to drill that out and tap it. So now that we dropped that bar, we're able to pull the battery out. Then we can access the uh, we can access the ground. So I don't know if you guys can see that very well. The ground one in the back, we can get our wrench on that quite a bit better. Now. So now we were able to remove our battery, and you can see a little bit better up there now. Those are our two terminals. Um, just wiggle those up, and you're going to want to clean them up and put petroleum jelly on the inside of those terminals before you put the new battery in. So now we've wire brushed our battery terminals. Um, make sure you wire brush the inside of those real good. And uh, here's the new battery. We're going to take these plugs off and put a healthy coating of petroleum jelly on these two uh, terminals. So now we got our petroleum jelly on our terminals. You can't put too much of that stuff on there, so slather it right on there pretty thick. Now we're going to throw it up in and put our terminals on and tighten them up. So now we have everything back together. We got our terminals on. Make sure you put the negative to the negative and the positive to the positive. The battery will be labeled on top. Your red is positive. We got our support bar back in and tight. Um, after drilling and tapping that hole out, I put a new stainless bolt in there. So our next step is going to be to put the battery bracket back on. That'll be this guy here. We put it in here like this, and we're going to turn this thing 90 degrees and put our bolt down in our hole. Um, I always put anti-seize on my bolts when I throw everything back together. Just in case I got to tear it apart again, it comes apart a little bit easier. Next up, we can throw our inner plastic back in. So now we got our battery in. Um, the terminals are tight. The battery mounting bracket is tight. Um, we got our inner fender back in. Now the only thing left to do is put the tire back on and then start it up. <clears throat> so now we got the tire back on. I'm going to lightly snug these up with my impact and then we're going to torque them to 115 foot pounds after we get it set on the ground. And as always, when you put your lug nuts on, tighten them in a star pattern. If you have a five lug, it's easy. You just skip one, skip one, skip one, skip one. Work your way around until they're torqued. Now that we got the tire tightened back up, uh, just lightly with the impact, we can lift it up with the jack, take the jack stand out, set it back on the ground, and then torque it. So we got our torque wrench set to 115 foot-pounds. We're going to tor uh, torque this up in a star pattern the same way we did with the impact. Five lug, just skip one, skip one, skip one. I like to go around the star uh, two times just to be safe and then we're going to drive for 50 miles and then we'll have them bring the car back and then we'll retorque it again in that same star pattern at the same foot pounds, 115. Now I'm going to start the car up, uh, everything's back together, we're going to let it run for 15-20 minutes. So YouTubers, we got everything back together. Um, I should have probably mentioned at the beginning of the clip, the whole reason I'm changing this battery is because we stopped at um, AutoZone and they did the battery test there. I don't have a battery tester myself, but if you have a feeling that your battery is going bad or your alternator you can go to AutoZone or I think Advanced does it too and they can test your charging system and your battery. Um, 
So everything's back together now. Uh, thanks for watching my channel, Automotivated. Uh, this is my first video. Might not be the best. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Thanks a lot.